So the demonstration I'm using here is called egg on a plate. And for this demonstration, you'll need a plate, a raw egg, and enough space to move around. Outside works well, it's a little bit chilly, but please choose a space that will be okay if the egg breaks and if it makes a mess. So for my demo, I have an egg and I have a plate. It's a good solid plate, that's a plate actually. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna throw the egg up in the air, and when it comes down, I'm gonna catch it without breaking the egg, maybe. So let's see what happens here. First try, ready? All right, and if you look at it, you can look at this. Let's see, we're getting it right here. No cracks, no cracks, no cracks. What happens, it is a real egg. Can you see that? Okay, it is a real egg. All right, real egg right there. But if you have a short amount of time, like I have here, then it's a big force, so it cracks the egg. But when it's up in the air and I catch it and slowly bring it down, it lowers the force because the time is going up that it's in contact with the egg, so it doesn't crack. So this is a demonstration of impulse, and your impulse is any change in momentum, so the egg goes from moving to stopping. And in both situations, it does the same. If it stops quickly, you have a big force, and so because it has little time, and that causes the egg to break. If, the, if you extend the time by moving the plate down with the egg as it's slowing down, it makes a bigger time, and therefore the force is smaller. And so the egg didn't break because we were able to extend the time that it was stopping and that was able to lower the force to a point that would not break the egg.